three years ago, residents of the Miracle Mile began a campaign to preserve the charm and scale of their historic neighborhood. In February 2015, the official process began to establish the Miracle Mile Historic Preservation Overlay Zone, commonly known as HPOZ. In the autumn of 2016, the city's Cultural Heritage Commission ruled that the Miracle Mile qualified to become an HPOZ, which would permanently preserve its historic homes and apartment buildings. On December 8, 2016, the City Planning Commission also endorsed the HPOZ, but at the last minute cut out historic properties along Olympic Boulevard, on South Orange Grove Avenue, and between 8th Street and Wilshire Boulevard, including 500 rent-stabilized apartments, to facilitate the construction of new high-density developments. On February 15, 2017, a demolition permit was submitted for 744 South Ridgely Drive, one of the historic properties excluded from the Miracle Mile HPOZ. Five days later, the tenants received eviction notices. We knew the building was for sale and we knew people were coming to look at it. Then we got notified in um, Jan end of January, or beginning of February, that it had closed, that they had closed escrow and it had sold. So the new owner wanted to come over and meet us all. And so I said, now he was our new owner, fine, I, I'd like to meet him. He was just very quiet and very, I mean, it was a very standoffish meeting. It wasn't anything like, you know, we're great, welcome to be, you know, be your new owner and we'll take care of the place. It was just a very, here's a piece of paper, here's where you send the rent check. One of my neighbors asked him, what do you intend to do with the building? And he said, well, tear it down, of course. Well, then a half hour later, the tenant upstairs, she came back down and knocked on my door and said, well, the new owner just evicted us all, and he told me to tell the rest of the five tenants. I sent a picture. What did I do with it? <laughs> you want to take a look at this? This is our official eviction. It was like, it was like, uh oh, this is real. You know, before it was, it's been sold before. I've been through new, new owners. You just hope that they're good owners and they're going to leave you alone and let it be. But these, uh, it felt like it was all of a sudden something's going to happen now. Number five here says, tenant waives notice and rights regarding LAHD rent stabilization ordinance and primary renovation and relocation program. I'm not signing that form. And uh, if he wants to tear down the building and if he wants to formally evict us, well then he's going to have to follow the rules. I don't want to think about that. I think we have a fight in us and I think I'm going to stay here. I love it here. I put roots down here and it's a great neighborhood and I want to stay. A friend of mine actually lived in this unit and there, there's a two bedroom unit in the building and he, that unit became available and he wanted to move upstairs to there and so he notified me about this place. The landlords are really cool. They actually lived upstairs, their owner. Um, and uh, so I moved over here. I lived in West Hollywood, didn't want to move all the way over to the Miracle Mile, but I was happy the second I did it. I love this neighborhood. It's a great location. It'll be 12 years in May, May 1st, 2005. I saw an ad for this apartment and I called the guy and I think I was the first person to call and my wife saw it two hours later. I was at work and she said she wanted it. And so then I popped over as quick as I could after work to see it and since we were the first people to call, he let us have it. And that was four years ago. Yes, I used to always say, oh, I love your building. I wish I could live in a place like that. It's so great. It's so great. This is the one for us. It's got the hardwood floors and the great crown molding that I point out to everyone, whoever comes over. I say, look at that crown molding. It's got such character. It's just, I mean, you see it. It's just the bookshelves and the moldings and the, the high ceilings. and. Just, you know, it's really the windows. I love all the windows. It's a very bright, airy feel in here. Fireplace, which unfortunately bricked up, but it's still a nice feature. And the footprint of these old buildings are just great. There's something to be said about a building that's been standing in the city of Los Angeles for 80 years and looks great. So there's six of us in the building now, six units, and it's a great mix, and we're all real respectful of each other, and we all get along great, and it's, it's just a great little, little unit. Uh, this is Choi, Jack, the ones last year, and then now the current one. So this will be our fourth owner we've gone through in 12 years. You know, we've been working really hard, my wife and I. Um, and it, in the last couple of years, we've been able to, you know, move up in our different workplaces. Um, but even so, the neighborhood has surpassed our, our workflow, you know. So 
If I thought it was expensive four years ago, it's even more expensive now. Across the street, the same unit probably triple this amount. When we first were getting kicked out, I had decided to go check out, see where I'd have to maybe move to, and um, I went over there. It's just almost like a hotel. Or it's long, huge, wide hallways, and there's a pool in the center, and it just seems like a, a hotel. Didn't seem very homey at all. I see people moving in all the time there, moving in and out, so that things are very, um, uh, what do you call it, transient, They're very transient properties. And there's no large one on the other side of this vacant lot here, a very transient property. From the outside, it feels more like a dorm than a home. The last owner who's trying to kick it out, he told one of the tenants, he goes, Michael doesn't understand that this is my home. And I just went, whoa, he's a landlord, he owns buildings, this isn't his home, it's his investment and it's his property. But when he used the word home, and that, like, he was going to kick him out, kick us out of his home, that's, I, I feel like I had lost a home if I got I kicked out of here. We have an opportunity to save a great, classic Los Angeles building. A city doesn't lose its soul in one fell swoop. It gets chipped away, bit by bit, until what was a city of character becomes a generic metropolis. I hope that doesn't happen here.